What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And look what we have here. Another raincoat infestation. Guys, I don't know what I keep doing. I sign up for the game just like the rest of y'all. But you've seen in the past week, this can and will happen to me a lot. Personally, am I complaining? No, nah, not really. Not really. Because then we get to see how new players, like straight up new players, operate. So with that being said, this map, the Verg Forest, is always on my damn dashboard. So my apologies if, you know, there's a lot of forest gameplay coming out. Ideally, what I want to play is a field content map that's at daytime. That's what I want to play. But I can't control the map rotation. Y'all can tell me it, but if I don't flight playing the game, I don't flight playing the game. So we spawn up here. And for me, this is a pretty rare spawn. I don't spawn up here this often. Or at all, really. If you know this map, you know exactly the reason why I'm running this way. Exactly the reason why. But peep. I didn't bring body armor or radiation grenade. So I'm operating at less than optimal capacity. If you know this map, then you will know. Somebody spawns up on the rocks behind me, and someone else spawns at the tank depot that is right there in front of me. The game is pinning y'all against each other to fight in the red barn. That's why the detector can spawn there, and or a comp station can spawn there as well. Ever notice that? I mean, look, the more you play the game, the more you die, the more you keep respawning, you'll learn these spawn points. And look, it's not just me. There are regular players who know the spawn points too. I mean, look, the game is only, you know, but so big. It's going to happen to you, naturally. So don't try to memorize it, but just keep playing the game and eventually it's going to hit you. Maybe I shouldn't run this way because somebody spawns right there. An alternative method to learning where people spawn at is using a port at the very beginning of the match. Not recommended. I will disown you from my uh, YouTube channel community if you do that shit. Um, don't do it. Just throwing it out there. Alright. So I got two kills with an SVU on my back. A very high powered silenced rifle that can be somehow automatic. Why am I going on about the SVU? Well, let me put it to you like this. If you have a good high tier weapon, why go after the container? Why would you? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't have the faintest idea.
yourself as a killer. But will you stay alive when others know where you are? People, whenever I raid a weapons container, and you'll see this on my streams too. The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. I always delete whatever is in the container. I always do. Because you just seen it. Someone else will pick up what you left behind in the container. And if you're not careful enough, they'll spot you and they'll gun you down. In this exact case, however, the guy that I shot had an M249 on him, but I left the M249 alone because when I seen the tower get activated, I'm like, shit, I need to get off this container because that'll make me a very easy target. If I had deleted that M249, I would not have to go through a whole four minute gunfight. This whole threat thingy at the top of your screen, it would have been a whole lot cleaner. But because you had a very good weapon, I mean, basically the most powerful weapon in the entire game right now, he felt confident enough to try to push me. What I'm trying to tell you all, if you raid the container and you find, I don't know, an A1 and an M249 and a 629, pick up the M249, destroy it. Take the AWR A1, take the 629, and leave. Don't give anybody the chance to upgrade. Because the entire point of this game is a survival looter game. But here is the uh, dark side of it. You can impend someone else's survival by making them less offensive. Delete the guns, people. Delete them. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it was kind of short, but I mean, you seen what I did and I'm pretty satisfied with it. I'm pretty satisfied with it indeed. So I'll be sure to catch you in the next episode. Until next time, peace.